Welcome to Electra Online. In the next video, interesting, I'm talking about the next video before I'm talking about this video, but in the next video, we're going to show you how to find the mean and the standard deviation of the population by using samples. But just so that we remember how to find the mean and the standard deviation of the actual population straightforward, just by using the population data, we want to show you here first how to do that so we can compare the two methods. So how do, we, how do we calculate the mean and the standard? And I just realized that I'm missing an N in here. So this should say standard. There we go, standard deviation of the population. Well, I have a table ready. Notice that the possibilities when we grab a sample or when we look at the population, we can only have a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight. And also notice that there's an equal number of each of those numbers. So the probability of grabbing one of those should be the same for every number. So there's one, two, three, four, five different numbers. So the probability of, of getting a zero or a two or a four or a six or an eight, well, that would be 0 0.20 for each one of them. So that's fairly straightforward. There's one fifth possibility of getting a zero, a two, a four, a six, or an eight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply those two together, the number and the probability of getting that number. So in this case, we get a zero. Here we get a 0 0.40. Here we get a 0 0.80. Here we get a 1.20. And here we get a 1.60. And now for the last part, the last column, we're going to multiply x squared times the probability. So this gives us zero again. 2 squared is 4 times this is 0 0.08. Oh, no, no, that's not true. It's 0 0.80. We double that, 80. Then here we have 4 squared times this. That gives us uh, 4 squared. That's 16 times this. That gives us 3.20. Here, this is 6 squared. That's 36 times 2. That would be 7.20 and 16 wow okay and then this squared is 64 times that that would be uh, 128 or 12.80 all right so now what we have to do is we have to add all these up so now we total them up and of course we total those up you get one here we get uh, 2.8 and 1.2 that gives me a four and here when we add these up this plus this gives me 20 24. All right, so those are the sums of these columns. Now we're ready to calculate the mean or the average and the standard deviation of the population. So the mean is equal to the product of, uh, let's see, the product of x times the probability of x. So this is equal to x times the probability of x. So in this case, we can simply, oh, not just that, it's the sum of that. So I should put the summation sign there. So when we total it up, essentially we sum up all those. So in this case, we get the sum of the x's times the probability that we get the x's. So in this case, we read that off right here. That's equal to 4. So we can see here that the mean or the average of the population is equal to 4. Of course, we already knew that. What about the standard deviation? The standard deviation is equal to the sum the sum of x squared times the probability of x minus the sum of x times the probability of x quantity squared. So we take this minus this, which gives us the standard deviation. All right. Well, not quite yet. We need to take the square root of that. Now we're ready to go. Okay. So sigma is equal to the square root of... So this we already worked out, that's equal to 24 minus this quantity squared. Now this is the same as this, so that would be 4 quantity squared. So sigma, the standard deviation, is equal to 24 minus 16. So sigma equals the square root of 8. And I need a calculator for that one. 8, take the square root of that, which is 2.828. 
which gives us the standard deviation of the population. And this here gives us the mean or the average of the population. So remember, this is how we find it for the population, looking at all the numbers. We get a probability based on the total population. Now, of course, if the population is really large, that becomes very difficult to do. And we need another method to make it more simple to do that. And that method, of course, is by taking samples and using the method of sampling and finding the mean and the standard deviation of the sample. And from that, then calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the population. That we'll do in the next video. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that as well.